Hi chemists, let's see if we can figure out how many molecules of chalk that I use to write my name. And you are gonna calculate it, cause you want to, I know you do. First things first, let's take the mass of the chalk. So here we go, scale has been zeroed, put my chalk on there, and I have 1.12 grams of chalk. Okay, now I'm going to write my name on the table here. So let's see, Maggie Sparrow. It's a fancy S. It is a fancy S. Oh, okay. and W, bougie. I am bougie. Have you met me? Have you met me? All right. Let's remass the chalk. So let's see if we've lost any chalk in there. We have, we now have 1.11 grams of chalk. So the mass of chalk used to write my fabulous bougie name is 0 0.01 grams. So now let's figure out how many moles. To do that, you're going to take this 0 0.01 grams of calcium carbonate, CaCO3, and we're going to go ahead and say one mole of calcium carbonate is equal to the molar mass. So you're going to get the molar mass of calcium carbonate right there. And you're going to divide 0 0.01 divided by the molar mass of calcium carbonate is going to give me how many moles. So that'll go right here. Okay. Once I get moles, it's very simple to get to molecules. So I'm going to take the moles of calcium carbonate that I just calculated, and I'm going to multiply that by Avogadro's number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of calcium carbonate is equal to a mole. And so I'm going to go ahead and multiply my answer from the moles question by Avogadro's number, and that will give me the answer for how many molecules is in Miss Sparrow's fabulously bougie chalk written name.